that whatever you might be feeling that you're lacking in your life right now, the universe is trying to give you right now. The universe is trying to fill the voids that we may be feeling in our life. The trick is to relax in the trust and faith that that is what's happening. Because when you can do that, that's when things can just come in so easy. I just How often do you get things in your life that feel good when you're like this? Does life work for you when you're like that? Usually you just feel a lot of that low energy. Unless you like that, then it is working for you. But like if you were expecting something good to happen, does, would it normally come when you're like that? Not usually. I would say not ever. you know, optimistic and I'm just gonna let myself shine. That's when, when you feel like that, that's when you hear good news. That's when you get good things. That's when amazing ideas come to you. That's when you feel inspired and motivated and joyful. When you feel like open and shining, your possibilities expand. The possibilities, the dreams, it all just opens because you're open. When you're open, everything opens. And when you're open, you can receive. What up, what up, party people in the street? <laughs> How are you doing? How was your day today? What song could I sing to open your heart? This little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, this little heart of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And so when you sing that, what doesn't it make you want to shine? So what you say and what you feel can completely change your energy. So welcome back to day 15. Yes, we are halfway through this journey. Why am I talking about these things? Because today we're going to talk about when there is a void, the universe is going to fill it. In other words, the universe is always balancing itself out. So where there's a need, the universe wants to fill it. Where there's a void, the universe wants to fill it. Where there's a lack, the universe wants to fill it. And the only thing that gets in the way of that happening very often is us. Or sometimes we don't realize that it's being filled. Okay, because it comes in different ways sometimes. And sometimes we're looking at things and waiting for things in certain ways and then they don't come and then so we think we didn't get it. But things come in different ways and we have to be open to that. Because the universe is always trying to fill the void. The universe is always trying to give us what we need. The universe is always trying to fill where there is lack. Because in essence, there is no lack. That's why it's trying to always fill because there's no lack. It, it has to fill. That's what it's doing. It's going around and it has to fill. It's trying to fill, but we're pushing it out because of how we think it's supposed to come. Because we worry or fear that it's not going to come. Or we can't imagine how it could be possible. Like this seems way too big. Like how could it ever work out? You have to have your energy open. You have to believe that it's absolutely true, and it is true. The universe cannot be in any lack because the universe is big. The universe has everything. The universe contains everything. So it can't be there for one person and not for the other. That's really, I would say, an impossibility. It happens because people have these mindsets, and they create that by how they think. But honestly, if somebody is like a millionaire, that everybody can be a millionaire. There's no lack of millions for anything. And the universe is always trying to balance things out. So get this, let's take it a little further. If somebody is 
rejecting that prosperity. Like they just have the mindset, I'm always going to be broke. I never have enough. I don't have enough money, whatever those things that I've been teaching you all the way along. The universe has to put the money somewhere because the, the thought of money and the thought of amount is out there. But, you know, it's creating. So it has to go to someone. So if somebody's open to money, it'll just keep going that way. Right? Like energy attracts like energy. Quantum physics has scientifically proven this. So if you have the mindset, if you have the energy, you are going to attract it. And so I have an incredible amount of trust and faith. That was just something that I had to learn. And I learned it early on. It's like, if all you got is trust and faith, you better have it good, lady. That's what I was told by my guys. And I never forgot that. So I really do. And things do work out. And I, half the time, I don't know how that would work out. And it does. It just does. What I'm here to tell you is so true. The universe contains everything, all that is. Whatever you can think of already exists. Whether somebody else created it by thinking it already, or you created it by your simple thought of thinking it, it's out there. It's already there. How you get it depends on how open your energy is, how relaxed you can be, how trusting you can be, how well you speak when you talk about these things, or if you're worried about how you handle your energy at that time. You can be worried about it, but still handle your energy really well. But you have to think about even if you're handling that worry well, you still have that vibration. But when you can do things like maybe turn to an instrument, put on headphones and listen to, to music, uh, relaxing music or any kind of music really, uh, do what you can to open your heart, fluff up your energy, and be attractive to the universe. You know, be attractive, be open. It's just like, look how beautiful she is. You know, she's opening your heart, this little heart of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Like, wouldn't you want to just hug that energy? And that's what happens. Like, the universe just wants to hug that energy because it's happy and it's open and it's shining and it's beautiful. And the universe notices shiny, attractive energy. It really does. If you're closed down, you're just like... It kind of like... It comes to you like that. It's like comes to you just how you are. So when you're doing that, and it comes to you like that, you've got a lot more magnifying around you, okay? But when, whew, I don't like that. But when you say, you know, this little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. It's like, let it shine, let it shine. And it's, let it shine and it's happy and it's hugging you with that happiness and it joins you with that happiness and and then i was thinking you know when they start getting really wild with that song and it, you know they all start clapping this little heart of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little heart of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little heart of mine i'm gonna let it shine let it Shine, let it shine, let it shine. And it can get really wild, right? You can like think of the people like in the Baptist church are really getting into it, jumping up and down. So you can just like get into it how much or how little you want. But if you sing a song like that, it's just uplifting no matter how you sing it. So let yourself do these things to shift your mood because. That just brings the energy up. When you bring the energy up like that, you're opening up your energy field. You're, I, I feel warm. I feel my energy just like when you start bringing up the energy like that, it fluffs up your aura, which is your life force energy. It starts getting your energy up and moving. And when your energy starts up and moving, it brings your spirits up naturally. 
It really does. It's amazing. Energy is amazing. When you know how to work with it, you can change the way you feel instantly when you know how to work with energy. You know, just singing that little song and then if I wanted to take it further and jump up and down and sing it, I could even raise it even higher. You know, one other way to fluff up your aura and get your energy moving is simply just to like use your hands as scoops like this and bend down and scoop your energy up and over your head. So bend down and scoop up your energy over your head and just keep doing that. And you'll feel your energy up and raining down around you and it just lifts your energy. And you'll, you might even feel tingles, but you might even laugh because it feels good. You're just like, you know, playing in your energy. So anything that would lift you, give yourself the freedom to sing a song and be a little silly. I know my voice isn't that great, and you guys have to listen to it a lot, <laughs> but I want you to get the point. I don't sit here and think I'm a great singer, but it really gets my mood to where I want it to. And when you're closed, you're like, eh. okay, you're like this, literally closed off. And when you're, eh, nothing can get in. It's like you're constipated. Your energy is, if your energy is constipated, everything in your life will be constipated. <laughs> and if you really are constipated, I'm like not even joking, if you're really constipated, there's something in you that is trying to hold on to something, control something, something that won't let things flow, won't let things go. What happens to our body, to our physical bodies, are signs of what's going on in our mind, in our emotions, in our thoughts, in our energy. So listen to your body. When your body's feeling uncomfortable, ask it why. Because it is a reflection of your thoughts and your emotions and your energy. Your body doesn't lie. Your body will tell you when something's out of alignment. And when it starts affecting your body, your physical body, that means you let something that's emotional or mental, meaning your thoughts, that is out of balance, stay out of balance too long, to the point where if it, something stays out of balance too long in your energy, so your thoughts and your emotions, it will affect your physical body last. And once it hits your physical body, if you don't say there's something that I need to fix and it's stemming in my emotions and my thoughts, if you don't fix that, then your body goes down that road. And you know how doctors can't figure out things a lot of time? Because they're looking at the physical body, but the issue is out in the emotional and the mental and the, the thoughts. So you got to fix it at the core so it leaves the body. A lot of these diseases, not a lot, all of them, stem from something that didn't get taken care of. You can't sweep your emotions and your thoughts under the carpet and think that you're going to stay healthy. You're not. But when you're singing like, I'm going to let it shine, and you're finding ways to truly be peaceful in your heart every day, regardless of what's going on around you, because there's always going to be something. And the trick is, how can you stay centered and calm, even if you have chaos around you? Because your health is worth it to find the ways to do that, whether it's playing an instrument, or it's singing songs, or it's going for a walk, or going for a swim. I always find when I go into the ocean, I just get so clean. I feel like I just got cleansed inside and out. It's just like so clearing. Anyway, my point tonight is if there is a void, if there is something lacking, if there is a need, you can depend that the universe is always balancing it. It has to because the universe can't be in any state of lack. The universe doesn't know lack. The universe only knows abundance. So there cannot be a void. There cannot be a hole. And so if you have a void, you have a hole, you, you have a need. The universe is trying to fill it because 
it doesn't know holes, voids, or needs. It only knows abundance. So it's an illusion. It's not true. So if you're feeling that and you're experiencing it, it's an illusion. It's not true. You're creating that because in truth, the universe is only abundant. It can't be abundant, but for you, you have a need and a lack and, and you're just going to be lacking for the rest of your life. It's impossible. You're part of the universe. So you have to be abundant too. So you cannot be without abundance. And so let me tell you, if you say, well, I am in lack, I don't have the money, I'm poor, I'm struggling, or whatever your challenge is, guess what? It's not so much that you're in lack. You're actually very much in abundance. But instead of being in abundance of what you may want, like let's use money, if you feel like you don't have enough money, you never have enough money, you're struggling with money, and so you're saying, if I'm part of the universe and I'm abundant, it's not working because look at me, I don't have money. So being that the universe is abundant, and which means you have to be abundant, guess what? You are abundant. But guess what you're abundant in? Lack. You are in an abundance of lack. So abundance can work both ways. You can either be abundant in the feel-good stuff, or you can be abundant in the not-feel-good stuff. But either way, you are going to be abundant. There's no choice. There is no choice in this matter. You have to be abundant one way or the other, and the choice is up to you. This is huge information I'm telling you right here, people, because there's not people telling you this. Okay? This is something for you to think about and get through your head and change it if you don't like it. I told you the other day that whether you are awake or you're asleep, whether you're trying or you're not trying, you are in the state of manifesting 24-7. You are always in the state of manifesting, whether you're thinking you are or you're not, because of your vibration. Your vibration is your energy. Is your energy open or is it closed? Is it trusting and faithful or is it worried and angry and resentful? Is it being conscious about how it is or is it just being sloppy and one minute it's happy and the next minute it's pissed off? You want to have as level emotions as you possibly can and you want them to be as feel good as they can because when you do that, like energy attracts like energy. You will attract more of that to you. So whatever you're putting out there, by the way you're acting, by the way you're feeling, the way you're thinking, is what you are actively becoming abundant of. So it makes a difference whether you're going to be in a pissy mood or not. And it makes a difference whether you're going to be resentful or supportive and loving but no matter what you're doing with your energy, you are 100% abundant and you are creating an abundance of it. It's up to you to decide, is my abundance going to feel good or is my abundance going to feel like that? It's really that simple. It is so that simple. No matter what you're doing, you're manifesting and you're doing it by the way you feel the way you think, the way you talk, the way your actions are, the way your energy is vibrating. And you can either have an abundance of feeling good or you can have an abundance of feeling lousy. It's totally up to you. So that is why when I am teaching you about things to keep you chilled out,
to keep you open. Like this little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Ways to get you up out of your funk. I did a video on that. Go look for it. I told you 10 ways to get up out of your funk. You want to do those things as soon as you can to move out of your funk and begin to vibrate in a good space again. We're all human. We all have bad funky days. I even have them. But the trick is to recognize it. It's okay to honor it for a day, but after a day, I want to feel good. You find a way to slowly move out of it. And sometimes you can do it in an hour. Sometimes you can do it in a day. Sometimes it might take a couple of days or even a week, depending on the severity. But as long as you're keeping at the forefront of your mind, I want to feel good, I am going to go out and walk in the park. I am going to go for a hike. I am going to play my music. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to watch something funny. As long as you're doing something to help yourself help yourself to get to a better space, you will get there. But if you just keep, ah, poor me, <laughs> my life, it's all me. <laughs> it ain't helping you, honey. And you are only hurting yourself. And guess what? You're going to get a hell of a lot more abundance of that in your life. So do what you can to recognize how your moods are and to move into a better place if you need to. So, this was huge information today, and I really want you to think about it. Really think about it. And put this at the forefront of your consciousness every single day. Is this what I want to be manifesting for myself? Is this what I want more of? The universe is reading my vibration and delivering back to me what I'm vibrating. Is this what I want to vibrate more of? If the answer is yes, right on. If the answer is like, no, then start doing the things to get up out of your funk to bring yourself to a better place. Sing. Do something. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you tomorrow for day 16.